And unfortunately, this week's episode did not turn out as good as I wanted it to. After doing the filming, I noticed there's a bit of an audio issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a episode that I was going to use before and I didn't use, it didn't make the cut. So we're gonna revert back to a couple weeks ago and use a previous episode that I filmed that I did not show. And uh, that's gonna be this week's episode. Next week's episode, it's gonna be from Cape Breton where I'm heading to today. So I'm really excited. So let's get on with it. Today's goal is to try and capture some images that involves movement of waves or water, very similar to this one. And that's today's goal. I'm taking the car, so I'm gonna be staying on more, uh, more common roads, more better maintained roads. So let's see what I can come up with. So here we are at North Cape, and uh, I'm just heading down here to the beach. Basically what you can see behind me there, I think you can see the lighthouse. And there's some amazing cliffs here. Um, it's just a very picturesque place. Now I've been trying to capture this lighthouse for a bit, and uh, I was, excuse me, I, I was never 100% happy with my uh, captures of this lighthouse as well, kind of like last week. and. Uh, I discovered a new way to shoot it. I'm just heading down here. And basically what I'm going to do, the goal is to get some shots. It's gonna work well with the lighthouse. Hopefully we'll have some white caps in the water this time. Uh, this place is usually pretty good with white caps. And I can use leading lines to shoot right up the, the waves, right to the lighthouse. So, uh, Let's head down here and see what we can come up with. I'm at North Cape. What I'm doing is I'm shooting right up the, uh, the coastline and uh, the shot I'm getting I'm very happy with. And uh, basically what I'm doing is uh, you can just see the white caps there and uh, I'm creating leading lines by uh, using uh, a slower shutter speed on the, uh, the white caps. And then it comes out, uh, comes out just beautiful if you slow your shutter down. You get kind of the milky effect and it leads right up to the lighthouse here. Now, uh, it's a pretty cool shot. I'm loving what I'm getting, and uh, that's the big thing. My settings in this case, I have a polarizer filter on there as well as a neutral density filter. I have uh, the 7200, and I'm at uh, 100 millimeters. Uh, I have, what are my settings? Uh, I'm at f14, 0.5 of a second, and my ISO is set to 50. So that's the shot I'm getting. I'm loving it. It's turning out great, so uh, yeah. We're going to get a few more shots here and then we'll find uh, someplace else to shoot this lighthouse from. All right, so there's a little bit of craziness going on right now and uh, it's difficult. So this way, I got the waves crashing in like that and I have a slow shutter speed over here. I'm at uh, one fourth of a second. I got my polarizer on there. I got a neutral density filter on there and uh, I'm basically just waiting for the waves to crash in. The shot's turning out fantastic. Um, uh, I have the 17, 70 on there, the 17 to 40 millimeter, and uh, I'm at 17 millimeters. 
So the shots are turning out great. I got sunset happening. This way, uh, before I had my other camera set up over there, and it was facing that way, and it was capturing the the basically the waves crashing in, as well as the lighthouse back there, and it was fabulous as well. Like it was amazing. Just overall, I was very happy with both these shots. And you know what? The best part is, I don't even have to move. I just gotta sit right here. It's awesome. But uh, I'm kind of. Wishing I brought my second tripod today because this place is absolutely beautiful. wraps up this week's episode I want to thank you guys so much for watching again be sure to subscribe be sure to share this with your friends if you like it chances are somebody else you know likes it too very much appreciate it guys love the comments and uh, anyway I'm off to Cape Breton